Hey, Judy and I got done planting beans, and so we're doing a little crop scout and kind of seeing that we really got lucky. We don't have to do much replant, and we got uh, down on Shanghai Road by Athens. We got some replant north of town in behind an old railroad that's a swamp spot a couple acres there um we got one or two seepy spots on the sides of clay hills but i'll probably just spread manure this summer on those um i mean we planted them and they're not very big and there's the occasional corn plant but as you can see this corn this is our first field of corn it's starting to get big enough and you can see what the wind damage did the wind sure tore up some leaves tore some leaves up on it but the new stuff coming out is nice and green i got like four rows here corn on corn uh, just for the simple fact is i didn't want to have any point rows and it doesn't look too bad really um the corn corn behind the bean stubble and then here's a beans that we planted oh gosh i want to say maybe the 18th of may and what I find interesting is they're still coming up. There's there's a couple there that's going to come up. And you look back here, a little bit of a gap. I don't know if there's anything in there or not, but probably not. But um, some people say I planted them a little thick, but if we get a hailstorm, I'll be all right. But I feel pretty good. They're still coming up. Um, now, I cheated. If you look, that bean row is 30 inches away from that corn row. Gosh, I love auto steer. I saved my line, saved my AB line, and just popped over, used it for the beans, and took off a planting, and that bean row straight with that corn row all the way through. Um, like I said, I didn't have any point. Now, I got a few point rows down along the road with the beans, but when Farm and Wife runs the 9770 with the blink bean platform through them, you'll never know it. And uh, she doesn't have to worry about any point rows in the corn. This field, we used to always keep this one big field in pretty much continuous corn. But since the bean corn economics has gotten a little bit better to go back with beans now, I don't know if beans keep dropping in corn. If we raise a short corn crop this year, uh, we may be back in the business of raising some more corn. Uh, but uh, it sure is nice, the, the corn soybean 50-50 rotation. It really makes it fast planting in the spring. Um, it, it makes it nice in the fall and um, you don't have to put as much anhydrous on and stuff. But really, really happy with that stand of corn. You look out across there, that's a good stand of corn. Pretty uniform, got good weed control. Um, I got a good stand on these beans. Um, this is one of our most productive farms. This is an old hog farm here. Um, there's been quite a bit of manure through the years put on it, quite a bit of cattle manure too. So, um, we're just out doing some crop scouting actually pretty happy uh, and I got a couple ends on some bean fields where one one one's a really really wet farm tremendously wet and uh, gonna have to spot in a little bit there but outside of that we're done planting the first time not much replant unless we get a big one out of this rain that's coming um, you never know the way this the way this spring is we and this summer we'll probably be wanting the rain well, hey, with that, everybody, if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel, that'd be great. That'd be wonderful. And we'll do more videos like this.